Alrighty guys, so I am back with another hair review and a little makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today's video is actually sponsored by Genius Wigs. Just starting off, I am recording this, I recorded this video last week, so I've had this wig for about a week now, and I've worn this wig every single day. So I can tell you hands down right now, this unit is absolutely stunning. The unit comes with all the fixing, so you really don't have to do that much. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down with the bold holds and add a little bit of blasting free spray for security purposes. Um, this wig would honestly and truly last you about three to four days or five if depending on what you have to do for me I just kept it styled the way I'm gonna show you guys and it is absolutely stunning I had a few classmates that were looking at my hair like wait is that your real hair because like they could just not figure it out it looks very good guys the lace and everything on this unit it is single night it's an HD lace as well too guys so you guys can see right here without makeup you can already see it blending into my scalp very nicely you guys know my favorite go-to product, Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. All you gotta do is add the product, scrunch, and then let it air dry. You know the methods, guys, so continue to keep on watching. Alright guys, so it is the next day. You can already see, look at the hairline right now guys. Even before adding any makeup to my face, I'm already looking nice, fresh, and bright the next day. So you know the beat face is going to come out nice. Look at the hairline guys. Look how really nice and blended everything looks. And you guys can see how the curls air dried overnight and they look super fluff and pretty. I'm super excited to style the hair for you guys. I cannot wait to show you how very, very nice this entire look comes out. I absolutely love this unit guys, all the links will be down below, and as far as all the makeup products I use in today's video, you will find them in the video, so you shouldn't be asking me in the comment section where they're at. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's go. guys so I'm sure I'm gonna get asked a few questions in regards to my eyelashes so these eyelashes I get from the beauty supply store for two dollars and ninety nine cents so these eyelashes are part of the INV 3d collection and this style number is the style number 121 these are so so nice guys super affordable and even after you wash these lashes they still keep the same style and shape
right guys so I did go ahead and add a little bit of my Maybelline fit me pressed powder in the parting space you can add it or you just can leave it the way it is either way it just looks really really good now I just want to show you guys a the difference these curls in the back are the curls that it came with from the company I did not co-wash the unit so you guys can see straight off the bat that the back curls match the front curls precisely so my scrunch and air dry method worked perfectly use that can to leave in condition like I said everything will come out looking perfect all right guys so this is a finished look of this super pretty unit right here guys so this unit was sent to me from Gina Swigs so today I did a makeup tutorial and a hair review so obviously you guys saw that I set this unit overnight I did that because I'm wearing this unit for about three to four days just because I have clinicals and class so I wanted something kind of low maintenance you guys know springtime is rolling in very soon so this is a perfect unit to jump start the season now this unit guys is super pretty it's 10 inches long it's about 180% density which is correct now this is the new single knot HD lace wig that they have so single knot meaning instead of bundling up that little little dot you guys be seeing when your lace is not tinted or uh, bleached that little knot it's only one single piece of strand of hair so it's lighter and that gives more space and more realistic vibes so with this unit I didn't have to go ahead and tweeze it I honestly did didn't do anything to it um, it came to me pre bleached pre plucked HD lace Swiss out all that kind of stuff so it came really nice now another Another thing I want to mention about this unit guys you know I have kind of like a small head so I have like a medium to average cap size head so this unit came to me perfect as soon as I cut the lace off and landed precisely right here I did not adjust it or anything and it landed perfect on both sides the hairline is magnificent guys um Obviously, before I started the makeup tutorial, you guys saw that the hairline this morning when I woke up was really late to the gods. I did let it kind of melt in overnight, and I feel like sometimes when you do that, it just looks, your hair like legitimately looks bomb AF the next day. So I did that last night, woke up today, and the hairline was popping AF, guys. I did go ahead and press the part down a little bit, add some powder in the parting space, and then just buff it out with the, um... A comb and guys honestly this is super pretty guys I will leave all the information down below in regards to it if you guys are interested you legitimately have to do anything with this unit you put it on and you're good to go I do think that it's very very nice I did adjust the straps in the back for extra security but obviously since I glued it down you really don't need to um, but if you're gonna wear a glueless it is possible adjust the straps in the back because the cap size fits so well it landed perfect on my ear tab area you really don't really need glue you can just use some blasting free spray and be good to go as far as the makeup look goes today guys I hope you guys like it you guys like last week's makeup tutorial so I decided to add this one in for this one's a little bit drama a little bit glam I don't know sometimes I like to go extra with the eyes adding more cranberry tones to because uh, cranberry tones would look really good on you know melanin skin tone I did get a new blush. I'll insert everything in the video so you guys have already seen it. The blush that I'm using now is like a little bit of an orange tone and it just looks really cute. And the lip gloss is Buxom lip gloss mixed with Spice Girl from Huda Beauty and a brown lip pencil. And I just love that lipstick Spice Girl. So um, I'll link that in the video or down below for you guys. So I think everything came out nice, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. But do not forget, guys, to thumbs up this video. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe and share this video with your friends and family, people. And I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.